क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इट रीड्स वन डे यू वर ऑन अ पिकनिक विद योर क्लास ड्यूरिंग रिटर्न जर्नी फ्रॉम द पिकनिक स्पोर्ट टू योर स्कूल इट बिगेन टू रेन देर फोर द ड्राइवर रिड्यूस्ड स्पीड ऑफ द बस एंड ड्रॉ विद एवरेज स्पीड वी वन विच इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर इन स्टेड ऑफ द शेड्यूल एवरेज स्पीड वी नॉट विच इज सेवेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर आफ्टर द ट्रेन दिस रेन स्टॉप्ड the driver drove the bus at an average speed of v2 which is 75 km per hour and covered the remaining uh, as is equal to 40 km exactly in the scheduled time how long did it rain so let's break down this problem in this figure let's say this is your picnic a is your picnic spot and b was your school where you you are supposed to reach and uh, let's say um, up to c point it was raining so the bus covered as one distance and that was v1 velocity or speed every speed which is 60 km per hour and then after c point rain stopped so the speed became 75 km per hour and the distance that was covered later is s2 s2 is equal to s which is 40 km v2 is 75 v1 is 60 km per hour these all informations are known to us we need to find the time by the bus the time taken by the bus to go from a to c So let's call this time as t1, this time taken as t2. We can apply the simple equation that average speed is nothing but the distance of one time. So v1 is going to be s1 by t1. So from here s1 can be calculated, which is going to be like v1 t1. For the second part of the journey, we can write v2 is equal to s2 divided by t2. So from here t2 can be like s upon v2 because s2 is s as is known to us. Now, uh, in normal schedule case. the bus would have covered total distance as 1 plus s2 and it would have taken t1 plus t2 time because it covers the journey in the scheduled time time so that means time taken uh, by uh, the bus in scheduled case and in this case must be equal so we will we will write like v not that means average speed for the scheduled case will be equal to s1 plus s2 the total distance divided by total time which is t1 plus t2 so that's correct find in the entire journey it takes the same time t1 plus t2 and it as journey is uh, taking uh, covering the same distance so from here uh, v not is known to us this value we can substitute from here so v not becomes s1 which is v1 t1 plus s2 which is s divided by t1 which is t1 and t2 which is s upon v2 so i have written uh, this in this form so that t1 is in the expression and rest of our rest quantities are known quantities so after simplification by cross multiplying we can write like v not t1 plus s uh, v not y v2 is equal to v1 t1 plus s after collecting t1 so we will find like t1 is equal to s v2 minus v not divided by v2 into v not minus v1 so that's expression for the time take uh, time during the rain was taking place that means this is time taken by the bus to go from a to c now this is the uh, expression now we can find the numerical values because all the numbers are known to us so s is going to be 40 and v2 is 75 v0 is 70 so v2 is 75 v0 is 70 and v1 was 60 after simplification we find it's going to be like uh, this will be 5 this will be 10 so that's zero getting cancelled out 5 4 will be upside 5 divided by 75 that is 15 so 4 by 15 hours now let's multiply it by 60 so that it becomes in minutes so it will be like Uh, 4 into 4, 16 minutes. So overall, it will take 16 minutes for bus to go from A to C. That means up to 16 minutes there was running, and then after the bus was moving with a speed 75 km per hour to reach B on a scheduled time. So that's our final answer. Thank you.